Hello, this is Mr. Zamoyski, chemistry teacher at North Tonawanda High School, and this is the quarter two lab practical titled Salt and Sand Separation. You've done two labs so far this quarter that take a look at separating mixtures and taking advantage of different properties to get the components of the mixture to separate from each other. The first lab you did was the separation techniques lab, which involved you uh, reacting sodium sulfate with calcium carbonate and you ended up getting a precipitate um, and then you ended up filtering out the liquid and then distilling the liquid to get leftover salt. The second lab you did was the water treatment lab and you did a series of steps um, involving adding a chemical alum to cause coagulation and you stirred to cause flocculation and the particles eventually sank uh, for sedimentation and then you did a filtration which takes advantage of particle size to uh, separate the water from the other parts of the mixture. Using those skills, you're going to do another separation. For this lab practical, I'm going to give you a small beaker of sand and table salt, also known as sodium chloride. Make sure to read over the SDS for sand, sodium chloride, and sodium chlor chloride solution before beginning this lab, uh, but they're all pretty safe to work with. When you're trying to find out the amount of salt in this mixture of salt and sand, there's two ways to go about it. You can either find the salt directly, or what you can do is find the mass of the sand and then subtract that from the uh, total mass of the beaker with everything in it. Um, I'm gonna give you the mass of the beaker before I put everything in it to help you with your uh, determination of how much salt there is. Before you can begin this lab practical, in addition to completing the pre-lab assignment and reading over the SDS, you're going to have to write out your own procedure that your instructor will check off before you begin the process. These are some of the materials we've used throughout the year and you can use any or all of them. We have our rubber holder for holding hot things, our glass stirring rod, a metal scoop, tongs for handling hot objects, we have graduated cylinders for measuring specific volumes. We have beakers, which are used to contain substances. A funnel, a digital scale, a wire mesh, which can be used as a heating stand, coffee filters and rubber bands. And then if you need to heat stuff, we have Bunsen burner and a lighter, a hot plate, and we have a metal tripod or a ring stand with an iron ring. Regardless of what you decide to do with your procedure, you're going to be in working with glassware, chemicals, and hot stuff. So as is always the case, make sure that you put your goggles on throughout this lab. I have my finished separation process here with my salt. And I'm going to put it on my digital scale and weigh it, 58.4. The mass of that glass container I used was 56.8 grams. And the final mass I measured was 58.4. I'm going to subtract those two masses to get the mass of my salt. one point six grams. Let's see how that stacks up. For this lab practical you're gonna get a performance score uh, based on this formula right here. I'm gonna take ten points and your percent error for the amount of salt that's in your beaker um, and you want that to be as close to zero as possible and I'll take that and multiply it times the ten points. So you'll get a score between zero and ten for this lab. So based on my results let's see how I did. I have a spreadsheet here. Um, we're going to put in your lab group, so Mr. Zamoyski. And for my calculation, I ended up getting 1.6 grams of sand after doing um, all my separation processes. And when I press enter, it's going to tell me how I did. Ooh, that's pretty bad. Um, I have a percent error of 90. 
uh, which only gives me one out of 10 points. So I definitely want to do this one again. Because my results weren't that great, I'm going to need to redo this lab again. And for this lab, you're allowed to do as many trials as you want to to give you the best score possible. Um, as you can see, I've pre-prepared a whole bunch of beakers with salt and sand for you to use. Um, just be careful, the amount of salt and sand is different in each one, so you can't just um, reuse the same information. For each additional trial you do for this salt and sand lab practical, I'm not going to make you rewrite your procedure, but I do want you to discuss with me uh, something you could do differently or some, some thoughts you could have on what could make your results better. Feel free to talk with other people in the lab to get ideas on what worked for them to help you out. All right, I've taken another attempt at this. So I have a different sample here. I'm gonna put in my name again. And this time I got 4.0 grams of sand. So here we go, big moment. All right, better. Uh, not as terrible as before, uh, but still needs some work. So I'm gonna take a couple more tries at this and see how I do. The key to success for this lab practical is to be patient with the process. I'm giving you as many trials as you want to do this, and so this may take more than one lab. This may take many labs to get the best result. I will, however, take the best of all of your results. So even if that's not your last result, your score will be based on your best result. All right, let's try this again. I'm feeling good about this one. I was particularly careful. Here we go. I got 2.3 grams of salt. All right, well, still not perfect, but I'm getting better. And that's the whole idea. Uh, keep progressing until you get the best result you can get. Your goal is to try and get um, a percent error of zero. Um, but the more trials you do, the more likely you're gonna get a better result. That's it for the pre-lab video for the salt and sand separation for the quarter two lab practical. Before you come in for this lab, make sure that you have completed the pre-lab assignment, read over the SDS, written down your procedure for your first trial, and make sure that you're properly dressed. I'll see you in lab and good luck.